So let's go ahead and see how easy it is for you to run your own live automated webinars, hybrid webinars, as well as do meetings using JetWebinar. By the way, just so you know, we've got detailed tutorials. So when you log in, in the very first step, you will see this. And if you don't want to see that, you can just go ahead and you can disable product tour. If you have product tour active, then we can walk you through exactly each and every feature right within the application. So when you come into the dashboard, you'll see this. And the very first thing you may want to do is either set up a live webinar, also automated webinar or meetings. The cool thing is if you run a live webinar using Jet Webinar, you can actually convert it into automated webinar as well. So let's go ahead and create a new event. In this case, it's going to be a live webinar and I'm going to put some details in. So you can choose the webinar title. You can change the URL, time zone, time and click on next. When you do that, you've got a link now to invite attendees. So I'm just going to copy that link and show you what that looks like to an attendee. They see something simple here, Jet Webinar Demo. This is where they can put the name and email address and sign up. Let's click on finish. But now you can do a lot more editing. So this is a quick way of setting up a webinar. But if you wanted to, you could also set up a paid webinar. For example, you could charge them a price of your choice or in this case it could be a free webinar you can choose the webinar length in this case i'll set up to be 120 minutes and then you can go into style and you can change branding you can set the registration page so let's go ahead and change that page as you saw earlier this page was quite simple but i'm going to go ahead and change the page by editing a few details so here you can see our registration page is done once i'm happy with it i can go ahead and also view the page as we had done before. So this was the initial page. Let's refresh this. This is the new page. You can add whatever details you want here as well. Let's go ahead and now here you can edit the thank you page and the webinar room as well. You can change the style as you want to make sure it adheres to your branding. You can set up emails. So you can set up confirmation emails, reminder emails, follow-up emails. If they did not attend, if they abandoned early, for example, you can even set up those emails and of course, you can also choose to send emails to all attendees from here as well. You can do that any time that you want. You can choose presenters. So you can add a presenter if you want someone to present with you. You can request additional details for the registration page. So last name, phone number as well. You can embed the registration widget on your own landing page. If so, you want, there's a ton of things you can do with this. Anything you'd want from a webinar registration page and then you've got in webinar options as well where you can have open chat moderated chat or you can hide the chat altogether you can download the chat transcript as well all these cool things you can do to control what shows for whom and then of course you have integrations where you can put in google analytics code you can put put in custom event conversion code such as facebook retargeting pixels and you've got some third-party integrations as well including melvio that will be in place shortly and then once you have all the attendees that have signed up, you'll be able to get a list of all of them right over here. If you're running any polls, you'll see the list of poll results over there as well. Then, of course, once the webinar is run, you will see all the analytics, visitors, registrations, number of attendees, registration rate and attendance rate as well. That's just the live webinars. You can also run your automated webinar. So let's go ahead and create a new pre-recorded or automated webinar. You can choose to run it once, you can choose to run it hourly, run recurring or certain days, or instantly. It's entirely up to you. So let's say in this case I, case, I say run it instantly. Let's go ahead and click on next. And there, this is the link that I can use to invite attendees. As before, I can go ahead and edit this so when someone does sign up, they are able to go ahead and watch it immediately. As before, I can edit style, set up emails, and also add additional registration details. It's entirely up to me how I want to customize it. And then this is where in webinar options are different because this is a pre-recorded webinar. You want to ideally play a previously recorded video. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick essential pencil webinar that we have from before. And when an attendee arrives, you can choose to start the video at the beginning or you can start the video at drop-in point. I like that so that it really feels like a webinar 
with their, if they come in late, they miss certain things. And once you do that, you can also hide participation lists. You can automate chat messages if you want to. So for example, at a particular time during the webinar, you can drop a link, you can ask a question, you can engage people. That's entirely up to you as well. And you can also add call to action. So for example, for people that saw the pitch, you can create a buy button that's visible for the next 30 minutes, for the next 40 minutes. If you want to give away something for free, for a very, very quick time period, you can do that for, say, the next five minutes. And also, you can choose to enable the webinar replay. That's entirely up to you as well. And when the webinar is finished, you can redirect people to the sales page to, sorry, the webinar is finished, whatever page you choose. All this creates a very unique, very personalized experience for people as they're watching your automated webinars. And when someone signs up to the automated webinar, they will see this webinar playing and they will see any chat as well so they can send questions from the back end you can answer their questions as well and you can manage the entire process and of course once you have everything set up you will see the calendar here with all the events that are up and coming so this way you are able to visualize exactly how much how many webinars you're going to be running and also the meetings if you want to run some meetings with your team members with other people that you know you can go ahead and create an event again host a meeting and then put a URL, so I'll just call it Neil Live Meeting, and that's my URL. Next, it is done. So as before, people can sign up to this at any given point, and they're able to do a live meeting with me immediately. And hey, when you're ready to run your live webinar, all you have to do is click on this button, start the webinar. It will ask you to allow your microphone and allow your camera as well. You do that by clicking on this button, and once this is done, you are able to allow your camera sharing as well. You can choose the camera that you want. You can choose the audio that you want. In this case, I'm going to pick this audio. And this is the camera I'm going to pick. And all these details. And then you can go ahead and join the webinar as a host. And you can present your screen. If you don't want to share your camera, you can stop your camera share. And you can do screen sharing, as I mentioned. You can pick one of the multiple screens that are available to share. And this way you can run a live webinar. You can see all the participants that are there. You can see the chat in real time, engage people as well. And everything basically is accessible for you in one place. Once you want to start running your recording, you can click this button and that's going to record the webinar for you as well. There's a few other options for you to create a poll, share an offer, share a video to the room, add audio transcription, start audio transcriptions and configure camera and mic. Share a video to the room is an interesting feature where you can pick one of the many videos that are available inside your account and you can share that with people so that they are able to watch that video as well and uh, you can just switch away from presenting yourself so like this is the video that i was talking about and it's now playing while i'm just sitting back that's it once you're done you can click the end webinar button it's going to end the webinar and this way your customers will continue to get follow-up emails from you for once the webinar has ended with links or anything else that you want to share with them.